My, my name's Kevin Watkins. I'm director here at the Overseas Development Institute. And it's a huge privilege and, and pleasure to host this event with The Guardian, with uh, you, Muir, from The Guardian in the chair. Uh, I, I think um, everyone in this room knows how important and how significant the Warsaw negotiations are. And of course, you know, th there's a lot of reasons to uh, you know, be very concerned that we're not going to see the sort of level of ambition in the outcomes that we want to see. But this is a crucial staging post on the route to 2015. And I think you know, we need all of us to understand you know, how, what we can do to help unlock progress. And it's something the climate team here uh, have been um, thinking a, a lot about. Um, apart from some of the research that we've done, and I, and I hope everyone will pick up the fossil fuel subsidies paper, We've also, um, I mean, we're, we're a think tank and a research institute, but we have gone into sort of um, counselling type work by developing this origami fortune teller. And actually, they were designed specifically with people like John in mind. So that made you wake up, didn't it? <laughs> it's dozing off there. But the, 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 this is basically, um, I mean, th this is something I associate that girls made really well when I was at school and I always used to admire the sort of dexterity of the activity but um, what, what this is, this is designed for negotiators and journalists and, and, and NGOs who are heading for Warsaw and um, you know Warsaw in November isn't necessarily the most um, attractive option especially when you're, <laughs> you're stuck for 20 odd hours a day in a football stadium yeah. wait, waiting for news that may or may not come um, and so, so, John, this is for, you know, while you're waiting for the news, you can twiddle to your heart's content and find out interesting things about um, how much we spend in fossil fuel subsidies, how much every tonne of carbon emission gets subsidised. And, you know, you can discover the fact that each of you in this room pays around $112 a year to subsidise the drive towards dangerous climate change. So, um, I'm going to hand over now to you to uh, to introduce the speakers and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a great event and I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks very much. Okay. Kevin, thank you very much. Um, good afternoon to all of you. Thank you for coming. Um, whether you're here in person or online, we're going to start our proceedings in just a few moments. Just to let you know that we're recording the first part of this discussion today as part of the Guardian Global Development Podcast. Uh, which will be out this Monday. So we're going to cover some broader issues in that first part. And then in about 40 minutes, we'll have a change in panel. Uh, it will be seamless, you will not even notice. Um, and we'll get into the finer details of climate finance, much of which are above my pay grade. Um, <laughs> in, this, in the first part, we're going to take questions on the situation as it stands in the countries, in, U in the United Nations, uh, with the NGOs. Then later, I'll ask for questions specifically about COP19. If you want to ask a question, please wait for the microphone, which will uh, wend its way to you, uh, so that people can hear you online as, uh, as well as hear, uh, see, see you and hear you. And can I ask that you switch your mobile phones off now to avoid disturbing our recording equipment? Uh, can I also ask you to be sharp and specific with your questions, because uh, I've never been to an event such as this that wasn't beaten by the clock, but we will do our best. Okay. 